we are going to Silver Dollar City. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, but we're gonna go spend as much time there as we can this morning, and then we'll probably head back on Thursday as well. So let's go see what's going on at Silver Dollar City. <laughs> We drove to Silver Dollar City from our resort Stillwaters and it only took about four minutes to get there. The resort did also have a free shuttle to take back and forth if uh, you need transportation. Once we parked, then we hopped on the tram and it just took a few minutes to take us right to the front entrance of the park. As you enter the park, you'll go into the hospitality house and this is a gift shop, but it's also where you can come take the tour of Marvel Cave, which is included in your admission. I'll be showing you more of this in a little while. We ate breakfast at our resort, but the smells of the baked goods coming from this bakery just drew us in. We just had to see what kinds of things they had. One thing that's really fun about Silver Dollar City is they have a lot of craftsmen working on various things. Here we stop to watch the blacksmith and they have all kinds of demonstrations just happening all throughout the park all day long. For now we are headed over to Time Traveler. This is a pretty intense roller coaster. It's a spinning coaster and it has three inversions and a 95 foot vertical loop and it is pretty intense but i love it and uh, we aren't able to film on the rides here at silver dollar city so i'm just going to be showing you a little bit uh, before and after but here is what it looks like as you enter the ride and what the ride vehicle looks like and it's just so much fun i think this is my favorite coaster of all time I love how at the beginning here you're just slowly going and then you just drop off and you're completely gone. After Time Traveler, we headed over to the Flooded Mine. This is a slow dark ride. You're just in like a boat and uh, in a mine underground, obviously, and it's supposed to look like it's flooding. Uh, so just a, a slow ride that everybody can enjoy. Since we were visiting in 2023, the 50th anniversary of the Silver Dollar City Saloon, we had to go check out the live stage show there. And before the show, you can even belly up to the bar and get yourself a root beer float or some popcorn to enjoy during the show. And don't worry, this is a pretty family-friendly show. This is as risque as it's going to get. Okay, we're 
gone into grandfather's home. mansion. Oh, yeah. Okay, go for it, Sarah. It's just kind of a walk-through thing. <laughs> it's not scary. The clock is upside down. Okay, no falling with the baby, Emily. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay, so this is where I things get sketch. Get wonky. Oh yeah, this there is. There we go. There it is. Oh, that's pretty weird. I don't know. Is it moving? I don't think so. It makes you feel like it is. I know this is silly, huh? So <laughs> Last time I was in here, I went and looked in those things there, and when I stood up, I ended up back in that bench. Well, we had a big rainstorm, and now the sun is out. Here's a cute little wilderness church. They do a sing-along, hymn sing-along every so often. I would have loved to have gone on this ride. This is Mystic River Falls, one of the newer rides here at Silver Dollar City, but it was just not quite warm enough for me to be wet. So we passed on this ride, but maybe next time.
One of the things that we found most enjoyable about Silver Dollar City was the fact that there were so many places where you could just get away and find a place to sit and it was peaceful and quiet and there were lots of places to sit where it was shady and so um, this just seemed so much different than most theme parks and it just had a really relaxing vibe. We had a great first day at Silver Dollar City and we're going to be going back on Thursday, but you're going to be seeing that footage right now. It is Thursday morning and CJ is helping me with today's intro. We are going to Silver Dollar City today. It's kind of a foggy morning, see the fog? But it's supposed to clear off and be nice and sunny today. So we're going to go spend another day at Silver Dollar City. This morning we arrived at the park early enough to see the opening ceremony and the flag raising. So that's where we're headed right now. This is something they do every morning and it's a great way to start off your day. Plus, when you're at the park this early, it's less crowded. Oh, there's more of y'all out here than that. I think we need to try that again. Good morning, folks! Good morning! That's more like it. Folks, my name is Deputy Melvin Lowe. These right here are the McCoy gals, Billy May and Maybelline. And right over here are the Hatfields, Beatrice, Stewie, and Shorty. And all of us are up here to welcome y'all to Silver Dollar City! And boy, how do we got a whole heap of fun ready for y'all today because we are in the middle of bluegrass and barbecue here at Silver Dollar City. And we have some incredible bluegrass bands that are going to be playing for y'all today, including Lonesome Rose is going to be performing for y'all. And of course, we've got some incredible barbecue treats for y'all. Some amazing barbecue pork, brisket. Crazy corn! Maybelline, you don't need no more crazy corn. You're already crazy enough as it is. <laughs> but folks, we've got other shows you ain't going to want to miss neither. Shows like Horse Creek right up here on the gazebo stage, Hot Time in Rivertown, our saloon celebrating its 50th anniversary this Woo! year. Woo! Yeah, and we've had the same hot ticket ladies for 50 years, if you can believe that. Now folks, we've also got some great rides for you thrill seekers out there as well. Rides like Wildfire, Outlaw Run, Time Traveler, and so many more, and of course, you got to go and ride the legend itself. Bye! But right now is something bigger and more important than all that. Right now is an introduction of some very special guests that we have with us today. Without them, none of us would even be here. Some of them have paid the ultimate sacrifice so that you and I as individuals can enjoy the freedoms and liberties that we have in this great country of ours, the United States of America. Amen. And the folks that I'm talking about are the veterans. Amen. So would you brave men and women who are veterans, whether you be retired or currently serving, would y'all please raise your hands so we can show y'all the respect and appreciation that y'all deserve. Hey, I'll tell you what. I think I need to switch to decaf as what. We would like to have all of our veterans help us out with the raising of our flag this morning. The street troop folks, myself, the Hatfields, and the McCoys, we all have some red, white, and blue ribbons that say veteran on them, and we would love to have each and every one of our brave men and women to have one of these ribbons. So we all step right up here to Main Street behind the gazebo stage, see one of the street troop folks, we will be sure to get you one, and then we'll have you line up so we can march over to the flagpole, raise the flag, Say the Pledge of Allegiance and sing our national anthem this morning. Fall in! 
But don't worry, we haven't forgotten about the rest of y'all, because y'all are company here. And if there's one thing that we love here in Seminole City, <laughs> it is company. So I think we need to kick up our heels, because company's coming! <laughs> So apparently I accidentally turned off my camera, but this flag raising ceremony was just so touching. I literally had tears running down my face. Um, it was just such a great patriotic way to honor our veterans and our country. Immediately after the flag raising ceremony, Sarah and I rushed over to do the Marvel Cave tour. Marvel Cave is actually what started Silver Dollar City. They were giving tours of just the cave and they needed something to entertain the people, all of the people who were waiting for tours. And so they started um, adding attractions above ground uh, to entertain the people who were waiting. They do have you enter through this little cutout door so that uh, you are aware that you will have to stoop that low in various places throughout the cave. This adventure is a one hour, one half mile hike through Marble Cave. This is the cave that started the Silver Dollar City. It is not a ride until you get to the very end. We're in the hospitality house here. You are going to go down 300 stairs right off the bat into this beautiful cathedral room. This is one of the largest cave opening rooms on the whole continent of North America. From there, you're going to hike through some tight passageways. You're going to climb down a very steep staircase. Got some wonky stairs in it. Right there is Tall Man's Headache. You all just stepped for a cut out of it when you came to this uh, waiting area, but this one's made out of tons of rock. Uh, from there, you're going to go down to the lowest point on the tour. This is uh, a beautiful underground waterfall. It's the lowest known point in all of Missouri. From the waterfall room, you'll begin your ascent. You will hike through some more tight passageways. You are going to climb a very steep, strenuous staircase, which unluckily for you is right near the end of your hike. We call it the Huff and Puff Staircase. <laughs> and then you're going to go onto the cable train, and it's going to hopefully take you back to the hospitality house. just came from way up there. And yes, those are all bats flying around up there from where we just came. Oh, watch your head again. Watch it again. <laughs> there for a second, Sarah.
Holy cow. Well, she was not kidding about the huff and puff staircase. It definitely did make you huff and puff, but it took us up to the funicular, which is this tram car that is going to take us back to the hospitality house. And sometimes this does not work. And in that case, you have to go all the way back through the cave the way you came. Thankfully, it did get us to the top this time. Well, Sarah and I just finished the Marvel Cave tour. It was amazing. Super cool. Yeah. Highly recommend that, although it is uh, a little challenging, but totally worth it. Also, one thing to note, if you need a little assistance getting around the park, Silver Dollar City does have ECVs or electric convenience vehicles available to rent. I believe at the time we were there, it was about $50 per day. So now we're headed over to Wildfire. This is another uh, pretty intense high-speed roller coaster, and it was a lot of fun. I don't think it's one I would do multiple times in a row, though. I'm not sure I could handle that. Pretty much any time they have the safety bars that come up over your head and down over your shoulders in front of you, you know it's probably going to be a wild ride. Of course, we had to stop by Clarabelle's and get some of the famous cinnamon bread, which certainly didn't disappoint. And at this location, you can also grab a Starbucks. So if you need your coffee, this is where you get it. Now we're going to head into Fireman's Landing and see if we can find a ride for CJ. What is that, CJ? That's right. Okay, take CJ on his first theme park ride up the ladder. <laughs> well, he didn't really like the ride that much, but he did like the fact that he got to ring the bell afterwards. You can do better than that. I say howdy, folks. Howdy! I'm Conductor Doug back here on the back of this train with Conductor JR. We're going to be following you along on this train ride today. Waving us out over there on the left is Conductor Huff. Everybody wave at him and say, Bye, Huff. Bye, Huff. Good luck. We'll see him about two or three days when we get back. The train ride is a nice, slow, relaxing ride, and about halfway through the ride, they stop and do a little comedy show, so I would recommend trying to sit in the middle of the train so that you have a front row seat for that. Give me your gold and silver, you blockhead. No! <laughs> <laughs> You're blockhead. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm the blockhead. She knows it by now. You know that before I did. Y'all know that before I did. Y'all know that before I did. What? It's just give me all your gold and silver. I ain't got none. <laughs> 
The girls are going to do Outlaw Run, and I'm going to stay with the baby because this is a wooden roller coaster that goes upside down three times. It's like, does corkscrew kind of, and uh, I don't think I can handle that. It's a little rough, so the girls are going to do this ride. Well, it is now Friday. I completely forgot to close out the vlog yesterday because we got home from Silver Dollar City and we were wiped out. We walked about six and a half miles. Half of that is uphill. If you've ever been to Silver Dollar City, you know it is uh, very hilly. So uh, we, we had an awesome day and uh, just really enjoyed uh, everything. I think though the highlight was definitely uh, when Sarah and I did the Marvel Cave tour. That was super awesome. So uh, highly recommend that again. If you enjoyed coming along with us to Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri, be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more of our travels, please hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps us out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.